We are the office of a company that develops uniforms. In the nearest future, the company starts the production of UMI Zero phones, so the workers mm -hmm. have to work overtime these days. There is an engineer to the left and his assistant to the right. At the moment, they are assembling test samples and dividing the process into stages for the conveyor. You can also see a photographer who is my assistant and looks for information for the site. Let's see the assembling of the first samples. The engineer is getting the back cover ready. It's stuck to the phone with a strong double-sided adhesive tape. The cover is made of glass, but it is not usual. It's Gorilla Glass. They say such glass is protected from scratches. We'll check it later. The engineer is very carefully putting the back cover to the sticky surface. Then he sticks the speaker and other small parts of a flashlight and a phone camera. He checks everything and puts the phone aside. At the same time, the assistant is assembling the main part. He is joining the motherboard with the screen. First, he sticks the double-sided adhesive tape. He inserts cameras and all necessary cables to the motherboard. If something is not very accurate, he corrects it. After that, the board is put to its place. All cables are locked. Please don't think that everything is stuck with the adhesive tape. It's also needed to place parts more precisely. When everything is placed correctly, the board is fastened with screws. Then he inserts buttons very neatly. All cables are fastened with a plate and two screws, so they won't get out after accidental drops and hits. One more board is inserted to the phone. It's connected to the main board with a cable. The cable is additionally locked. Unlike cheap plastic phones, Yumi Zero has a metal frame. It's an experimental batch, so the engineer thoroughly examines aluminum frame, as in first batch they're open floors. Everything looks okay. All last elements are stuck to the frame. The speaker is inserted and the frame is connected to the screen. Then the screen and the body are screwed to each other. The battery is inserted into the phone and additionally fastened with a special adhesive tape. The phone is ready for the first switch on. There is Mediatek label on the screen. That's raw firmware provided by the SOC developer. In the final version of the phone, there will be label Yumi instead of Mediatek. Final look while the phone is loading. After that, main functions are checked. Both cameras, calls and speakers. In this phone, there is a good camera by Sony. Test will show how good it is. The engineer checks main functions again and sticks the back cover. In this model, it's stuck just with adhesive tape. But don't worry, it won't get unstuck after the first fall. He presses gently and that's all. The phone is almost ready. The last thing to do is to stick the glass of the camera. For the first time, everything is done slowly and not very neatly. But it's not developers, but people robots on the conveyor who will assemble the phones. One more test. Call 112. The loudspeaker is tested. Everything sounds okay. This is one of the first Yumi Zero phones, assembled by the engineer and intended for tests and internet shops. Above there is a micro USB connector. On the right there are two slots for SIM cards or one SIM card and one SD card. Below a headphone connector. The screen and the back cover are made of Gorilla Glass. The sample with a battery of 2500 mAh weighs 145 grams. The developers not only assemble but also disassemble phones. The back cover is removed with a sharp scalpel. Then they detach the battery and go on doing in reverse order. They disassemble phones to see if it is easy to do it. 
During the production, workers have to disassemble defective phones or in case of repairing. So the developers think not only about quick and cheap assembling, but also quick disassembling and repair. On the conveyor, assembling and disassembling are much quicker. Every worker has instructions to do a couple of actions. They do them automatically and more precisely. This is the main board of the phone. There are almost no manufacturers in China with a full production cycle. Almost all phone parts are ordered from providers who specialize in them. It's quicker and cheaper. As a result, customers get a product assembled from parts produced in dozens of manufacturers. This is the first crash test. The phone was thrown several times from 2 meters high to cement floor. The screen and the back cover are broken. They are made of glass, you know. How can you scratch Gorilla Glass? The correct answer is with Gorilla Glass. <laughs> the crash test was held without us. Surprisingly, the phone went on working. Crash test has to be severe. We've got to see it. Oh, 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 oh,